What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and uh, today we're going to be unboxing the Core Garrison belt that they just sent me. A uh, huge shout out uh, to Core. Uh, you saw my little uh, remark there in the video to like, hey, 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 but uh, I, Core, I really, really appreciate you sending me this. Uh, I love the belts, uh, so we're going to get this unboxed. Welcome back everybody. Uh, like I said, we're gonna be unboxing uh, Core's Garrison belt uh, that they sent me. Uh, apparently I did uh, pretty good on uh, unboxing and giving a little review of their tactical belt. So they were kind enough uh, to send me a uh, Garrison belt to do, test out, do a little review on. So drum roll, voila. There we go, of course, got your Core Essentials sticker. And, oh, they sent you a little hanger. Cool, look, there, see, there's their hanger for their belts. So you can hang the belts up, I like that. And the belt loop, here's the, let's see what kind of, okay, so kind of looks like a, Cobra buckle a little bit, just the way that it's set up, but got your latch here for the belt. Of course, your attachments here, and it comes with the tool that you need to get everything attached. So I do like the way that looks. It kind of gives it a little, a little bit more of a, a tactical look uh, with this belt. I'm sure they've got different options for buckles. Again, they sent this i didn't specify what could all they sent it gray nice nice still same durable i mean you just can't beat these belts um i have liked their belts for some time now and finally got me one and i'm going to be doing a full review on it pretty soon because i've kind of run it through its ringers and it's so far it has held up very very well um, now, if you notice, a little bit wider. Uh, so their uh, leather belts and their tactical belts are inch and a half. Uh, their garrison belt, that's what they're calling this, their garrison belt um, is an inch and three quarter. Uh, so 1.75 if we're gonna get all technical here, uh, and then 1.5 on the others. Uh, from my understanding, leather belt holds four pounds of gear, tactical belt holds six pounds of gear, and the garrison belt here is supposed to hold 10 pounds of gear. Let's see what it says here. Yes, leather belt up to four pounds of gear, and I'm sorry, tactical belt correction, tactical belt up to eight pounds of gear. So, I thought it was just six. I only put six on the tactical belt to see how it would hold up. It did very, very well. Uh, I don't know if I'm really going to go back in and add in two more pounds just to see if it it did very well with the six pounds that of gear that I had on there. So the garrison, yes, up to 10 pounds of gear. It's a lot of gear. Um, now, of course, if you're a cop, law enforcement, something like that, you're sitting there looking at a lot of gear, which I know y'all are usually wearing somewhere probably between, what, 25 to 40 pounds of gear, depending on what, what you're carrying on you. So, I mean, no, it's not a lot, but for your average everyday citizen to conceal carry, 10 pounds is a lot of gear to be carrying around on your belt. Because um, your flashlights aren't that much. You can clip your flashlights on there. Of course, you got your fixed blade knife. Again, what most of those are a pound, maybe a little bit more than a pound. I, mine was mainly the gun, the holster, mag pouches, extra magazines. I even threw 
um, an IFAC on there just to see uh, how it was going to hold up because, I mean, an IFAC is something that you could uh, carry on your belt. And I even added in another gun, kind of a, a backup. I know some people that will carry uh, their uh, normal everyday carry on their dominant side and then they carry a kind of a backup gun on their non-dominant side. Uh, so though I'm talking about it too much, I'm going to sit here and do a review on it. But no, I just wanted to get this unboxed, let everybody see uh, what core has going on. I'm assuming their garrison belt is probably going to try to get close to being um, battle belt, fighting belt. But I mean, most of your battle belts or duty belts are going to hold, you know, what cops are wearing that, you know, 25 to 40, maybe even a little bit more um, as far as gear because, you know, they've got handcuffs and batons and tasers and guns and extra mag pouches and then their radios and all that stuff. So that does start to add up um, in weight. But yeah, this is probably trying to get a little bit closer to maybe like a duty belt or something like that. Cause I mean, 10 pounds of gear is a lot of gear, but same sturdy quality. I mean, I cannot bend this thing no matter what. And it's just big differences, holds more weight and a little and wider. So inch and a half on the tactical belt, inch and three quarters on the garrison belt here. So I'm excited to get everything set up, get this thing cut uh, to where I need it to be cut at and start wearing it and testing it out and see how it does. So uh, what I'm probably gonna do is just go ahead and test this one out as well. And then I'm gonna do just a big review with both of them in there together kind of talking about some of the differences and things like that, comparing them and all that stuff and just do one big review on the tactical belt and the garrison belt together. We'll just do a core belt review uh, where I'll kind of go a little bit more in depth, but really, really great option. If you're looking for something, um, I'll have the link in the description below uh, as far as the belt so you can go in there and look at the description and everything and decide if it's something that you want. Um, honestly, after wearing the tactical belt, I'm probably gonna go ahead and get another tactical belt and looking at just looking at this and feeling it, I'm probably gonna go ahead and get another um, garrison belt as well too. But this is a, a great, there's other, look, there's other companies out there that put out great belts. I'm not dissing them in any way, shape or form. I'm not trying to sit here and puff up core just because they sent this to me. Again, much, much appreciated that you sent this to me, but I, I'm, I'm gonna do what I always do for everybody and give everything an honest review. And hopefully they're happy with me and maybe they'll just start working something out and sending me some more. And who knows, maybe we can work out something in the future and start getting all of my followers and fans and subscribers a, uh, promo code out there so you can get you some discounts on some really really good concealed carry belts but be on the lookout i'm going to have a full review on this and the tactical belt coming pretty soon and again i'm really really sorry i haven't been putting out the content uh, like i was really expecting to this year this this i've been wide wide open with classes uh, with everything that's been going on and i hope everybody out there continues to take training. I am going to continue to bring you uh, other instructors like I have been doing. Uh, and if you're missing their classes, they're gonna be coming back next year. So no excuses. Uh, there shouldn't be any excuse on, well, that's too far to drive because I'm bringing them to you. All right, it ain't that far to go. So they're coming here, but be on the lookout. Again, I cannot thank everybody enough. I cannot thank my sponsors enough. Uh, Lau Welding and Grading, Get Right Personal Training, Sutter Law Firm, UAG Custom Shop. Uh, it, it, tremendous, tremendous thank you and appreciation for everything you helped me do. Uh, I just, I cannot say thank you enough to everybody out there because uh, this, this almost didn't stay in place. Uh, this was <laughs> almost shut down. So. I've fought hard and I've fought long. We're not going anywhere. We are here to stay. I'm gonna get out better content as 
especially now that things are slowing down. But just keep a watch out. Keep sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting, questions, comments, what you want to see, what you don't like to see. And I'm going to do what I can to get this stuff out there to y'all. So again, thank y'all. Thank y'all very much. Please continue to share the content. And always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.